Dirty Barry Crazy Larry is a silly exploitation film from the 70s that I'm sure very few people think about or even know about. Peter Fonda was in it, and he made a comment, I can understand them seeing Easy Rider four or five times, or maybe even The Hired Hand, but why Dirty Mary Crazy Larry? Heck, I was even embarrassed by the title. Well, this just shows to show that artists do not know what the hell their work is going to do, because I don't particularly like the movie, but I saw it very early on. I was 10 when I saw it in the theater, and I was just enjoying this wonderful, goofy, stupid movie. Two guys rip off a supermarket using the same plan the bank robbers use in The Friends of Eddie Coyle. They get away with the money, and Adam Rourke is along for the ride, too. But Peter Fonda and Susan George, who plays a one-night stand of his, are the main characters. After these three get away with the cash, that's pretty much it. That, that's the plot of the movie right there. The rest is car chases and smashing stuff with cars and helicopter chase. Now, the only reason I'm even talking about this movie is for the ending. So if you haven't seen the movie, there's no reason to listen to me anymore. Just shut this off and come back someday after you've seen the movie. Well, the movie ends when the three are driving away and they get away from the cops and they're laughing and then they get hit by a train car explodes and the credits roll now the song over the end titles is you know it's it's there to pressure buttons to realize that oh this has been so sad and it was the same song as the beginning that's a movie trick to give you emotion that hasn't really been earned just silly and paper thin if you like watching cars flying around you'll enjoy it but it's not even as meaningful so to speak as a vanishing point it doesn't have to be i'm not saying that i'm not this isn't a cry for <laughs> deep movies i'm just saying manipulation is a big part of movies and it still works which gets me to the point of why i'm even talking about this so I saw this movie when I was 10 in a theater with a brother and some of his friends, I think. And I thought, oh, wow, this is, this is cool. This is, this is what movies are all about. People having a good time and driving away and driving real fast and breaking the laws. And uh, the girl is really pretty and all this stuff and so on and so forth. And then everybody dies. Now, Peter Fonda could understand that people would be touched by the ending of Easy Rider, which was a movie made with serious intent. They were really trying to get you to care about that ending. What he couldn't understand was that it doesn't matter sometimes what you're trying to do with a movie. What matters is how it impacts a viewer. And I was just devastated at the end of that. I mean, you know, I wasn't crying or anything, but it was like, oh, wow. It was a time where movies at the end threw in unexpected endings or downbeat endings. That was very big in the early 70s. It's like, hey man, this is real life. This isn't just, you can't just be driving around and having a good time. Driving at 100 miles an hour. Uh, th th stuff happens. And that was actually the attitude that George Lucas pushed back against in when he, when he was making Star Wars. Of course, later he realized he was making meth, and you know what happened after that. But it's just the type of thing I think about when people enjoy movies I think are stupid. It's the type of thing Dennis Potter wrote about in his plays that used old-time songs. I guess what I'm trying to say is Dirty Mary was the movie that taught me that it doesn't matter if you have an honest response to a movie, if that movie's any good. I mean, who cares if it's good or not? You had a response to it. That's what matters. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.